Manchester area, Salford. Been taking photographs for approximately 20, 25 years. I, I've been photographing music uh, people since um, the, late, the late 80s. Uh, I started working with um, old school friends of mine, um, the Ryder Brothers, Happy Mondays, uh, and various bands in the Manchester area. Uh, and then, having moved to London, um, you know, started getting work working with people like Björk. Um, and, various people like Deborah Harry uh, and then I've been worked a lot in editorial for UK magazines I um, got my kind of big break working for um, a magazine in California called Reagan and from working with them I kind of most every month encountered working with sort of quite internationally known names in, in music and fashion My approach is more um, kind of, uh, I do plan the shoes in terms of um, what I'd like them to look like, but there is a big element of uh, improvisation as well. Uh, the work that I'm actually showing in this exhibition um, includes work that I did with uh, David Bowie, and the shots that I'm showing in the exhibition are very much uh, the kind of I'm kind of getting to know David Bowie prior to the main shots. These are the warm-up shots in effect, uh, where we can get to know each other and there's, there's kind of that interaction. So that when, when it comes to working on, because I work on large format cameras, um, we kind of, um, we, you know, we, it's so that it doesn't look too static and, and too without any mood or anything. By kind of getting them to work on a more medium form of camera like a uh, Asselblad or something. It, it just allows them a lot more freedom and when they move over to the large format they you know they keep that energy level going. Most most people are um, they want to do a good job. They're, they're all reason for being photographed and you know usually the, the clients that I'm working for are quite, are quite high pro, profile so um, you know it's a case of like they they really want to benefit from the exposure that they'll get. Over the years? I think um, you know I don't uh, I don't go into photo shoots thinking how to um, make someone feel uncomfortable. Pretty much everything I do is, um, you know, it's basically aimed at ensuring, because I, ensuring that I get the, the best out of the person. So anything that, you know, is brought to a photo shoot, ideas wise, are, are kind of, you know, it's really to ensure I get the, the person to look what I know they want to look, and that is, you know, having a good time or a fun time. Basically, I'm, I'm sort of on their side in effect. I actually don't think it's ever been easy to, to get into photography, um, whether it was pre sort of internet on now, because um, you know it's always been tough. But um, the, the advice I always pass on to, to anyone is don't try and um, be all things to all people, you know, focus on your quality, on your work, um, and don't feel pressure if you see someone moving at a lot faster speed than you are. Because um, at the end of the day, if you, you know, a smaller amount of work that you show that is good is what people will remember. And, you know, you, you're not really in some kind of uh, big race to be a success. It's a big, it's a, more a marathon when it comes to, you know, being involved in any creative field. You know, focus on your quality. And if you do ever feel that 
uh, especially in today's modern age with internet, the pressure that you see other people who moving a lot faster than you, um, see it as a bonus in your life because it, they're actually probably helping you um, by making you feel like you know you you've got to work harder because that's a great feeling. That's one of the things I remember.